Dance is inherently based in time and motion. Artist Jan Serre suspends moments of the dancer's art through a brightly lyrical series of monotype prints in an exhibition of her new work, Summer Dances, on view at the Museum of Wisconsin Art on the Lake. Hi, I'm Kat Morell. Let's go look at this. <laughs> talking with artist Jan Serre at the Museum of Wisconsin Art on the Lake, located in St. John's on the Lake. We're looking at this beautiful series of work called Summer Dances. And Jan, what inspired your series? Dance is the human body in motion. I was never, ever going to be a dancer. A singer, yes, but never a dancer. Gesture drawings are the closest way that I will ever come to being a dancer. I can dance through my brush or my pencil. That sense of gesture comes through beautifully and so strongly. When you were making the series, were you sketching from life and looking at performances or did you use photographs? I am using multiple sources. I do go to a lot of live dance performances, so I have quite a memory bank built in and I do do gesture drawings from life. I also am very inspired by images taken from live dance, either in books or newspapers, snapshots. In the end, what I end up with is a combination of all of the above. The gesture is so important and articulates the way the body moves, but the color is also incredibly striking within this. What inspired the color choices and also the layering of the different colors? I decided to call it Summer Dances. It was going to be exhibited in the summer, and it was a very long, severe, and gloomy winter. I think I decided I would have intense contemporary, what I, what I thought would look like, intense modern colors. I wanted to layer intense colors and I had a lot of fun doing that because uh, I would layer uh, transparent color over another color and where uh, they overlapped, of course, I would get a third color. So really, as much as this was about gesture and movement, it was also about color. Some of the pieces have that gorgeous translucent layering, like the piece we see behind us, but then others are much more stark, and you're using black and white and red, or, or different tones of red. There are three large pieces in the show, and they are simply black and one or two colors, and uh, they're done with a different approach where I remove ink to create the drawing. I liked it when things did not exactly register because I would get a double image which uh, increased the feeling of motion. I didn't have necessarily a fixed idea of what these pieces would be when I started out. They evolved uh, as I did them. Jan, thank you so much for telling us about your work and telling us about the experience of putting summer dances together. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And it's been a pleasure for me, Kat, and I also want to thank the Museum of Wisconsin Art for being such an incredibly effective and creative institution supporting Wisconsin artists. They're, they are in themselves as unique as a monotype. That is a beautiful way to put it as well. And thank you again so much for coming along with us this week. See you again next week when we'll look at something else. <laughs>